Greetings, my friends. So this is an introduction to my flat, which is serving as a kind of living portfolio uh, for all the art pieces um, that I would like to take into a studio and finish and complete them. And I have basically been trying to get myself into a studio for the past 15 years. Some dogs going crazy over here. And this has not really been happening, primarily because I was not really ready to come out of my hiding, to be frank now and take some responsibility. But now as a lot of changes are occurring and have been occurring and uh, keep occurring, profound root changes, I'm getting ready to do just that and um, I'm want to introduce you to a kind of a selection of I will not go through all of it because that's just um, that's just too much but there are some bigger pieces in particular for which I need an actual bigger studio space this is going to be impossible to um, finish them anywhere else so I need space and I would like to invite you to become investors for my entire body of work so I can actually go ahead and create what I've come here to create, which is um, an assisting spectrum of different tools to um, help co-creating this new earth to put it in a nutshell so quickly yeah you find another tour through my flat in the recycling art um, business blueprint which i call keep it rolling but since then the flat has changed quite a lot i've really cleared out a lot of things so i'm just gonna show you give you a quick tour and hope i can get away with not waffling too much and get on with actually showing you the pieces so these are some of the sculptures this one actually has a double um, that gets a stack of um, smaller and smaller becoming balls on top of it so one of them one of these ones is going to be colored the other one stays pristine white these ones so they're more they're more down here this for example is adam and eve um, they're going to be mounted, so they're not going to be looking just like that. But anyway, just to give you a, a little impression. These ones are figurines that I'm aiming to get replicated by creating molds and using them, for example, for, um, for board games. So there's a specific board game that I have in mind that has different tribes and I would just color code them individually and then basically like you have uh, your individual tribes in green and in blue and in red and in yellow and that's like uh, the basic version of uh, what is called in Germany Mensch ärger dich nicht which is uh, something like bloody get a sense of human get over yourself and have a laughter yeah okay um this one is uh, one of the pieces that uh, I did ages ago and I created an entire series of them. That's the only one remaining. Others got destroyed and actually vanished from the studio. Yes, that's uh, uh, envy and jealousy in um, a public art school. That's not just a myth. Yeah, that's like a real nasty, sad reality. So this here... This is now in front of there. Um, this here is like um, a piece that I've created on the back of the keep it rolling techniques. So this is just a piece of board that I found and then I've I got these skewers here and I just surrounded them with different um, threads. And it took quite a bit of time, but I think this is actually one of my favorite pieces. I mean, I have quite a few favorite pieces, if I'm honest, but anyway. Um, this year I did the other day only when I cleared out my flat. I found this canvas and I literally just pushed some color on it. 
So these, these, for example, they are pieces they would literally go away to uh, the highest bidder. Yeah, uh, as I'm finishing them and refining them, I mean, some need a bit more work than others. I would be live streaming my work and then um, they would go out either to the highest bidder or they would just get an actual price and they would go on an e-shop. So these here um, are uh, parts of the image bank. That is, I have two franchisable business blueprints that you could um, basically, that I would like to launch, but that I would also like to make accessible to the people of this on this earth, I mean, who could then create their own businesses around it. So the image bank is one of them and uh, consisting out of 500 different images. Here you see some more. Yeah, so these are all original images. You find an actual entire web page uh, dedicated to that on my website, mona.global. So um, these, these ones are all hand painted and then I would digitize them and then I would play around with them. So you would get access to them and then you would basically like do your own stuff with them, create your own products. Yeah, there are some more here. So all originals that I've been playing around with. These ones are some more sculptures that I've made. Uh, these ones is like, you know, stuff that broke that I would like, you know, mount into probably like a separate piece. Uh, this is done from clay, actually, and then just like color, uh, uh, painted with colors. This one is a piece that I found on the, uh, on the street and then just I want to create a little table with it. Um, these ones are um, cones where there was just fabric around it and then I used them like and um, yeah and just like you can hang stuff in it. This is actually like a piece there's something missing here um, but that uh, someone left. Is there still something left? I need to really like you know get going. Stop the waffle Mona yeah. Okay another mirror here yeah then this is an industrial frame that I found that uh, I want to turn into a table ultimately so these are all hand painted tiles they handmade yeah and then hand painted and then I just trash them and put them on there so this is temporarily secured because unless I have it in a permanent space and can finish it and um, it can be turned into a table it doesn't make any use because it's heavy already as it is so this and it's it's long uh, it's I think almost like three meters so this here are the three boards um, that are that used to be door frames so this is all stuff that I would find somewhere like literally an old enema old rubber bands batteries like uh, tiles that I would trash old metal pieces you know all kinds of like stuff and it reads, you are the experiment, the experimenter and the laboratory. So this is not finished either. There, I need to do quite a lot of like uh, fine work on them. And there are here, the frames need to be colored and you know, on and on and on. And um, yeah, and this was the first time I, by the way, I used this technique that founded the entire Keep It Rolling. So this, you are the experiment, the laboratory and the experimenter. Okay, so one of the other pieces that I would definitely like to either put on my eShop or sell to the highest bidder. So there are some more sculptures, yeah. So this one would be turned into a frame that used to be a cake platter. And this is just some graffiti I made from colored paper. And then there would be um, something like a glass going on top of it. And then just putting some door legs. Uh, door legs, what am I saying? The table legs underneath, and the table is ready. These ones are like pieces that I found uh, on the street, and then I just made my own little grout. So they could go individually, or like I'm gonna mount them, and then like they could be like a, a, a staff, a, um, how do you say, the, uh, a kind of a multi layered kind of uh multi-layered uh, tray kind of thing. I feel like I'm losing my speech. I think like my head needs a bit of rest. Anyway, these are uh, images. They are 
not yet in the image bank they're also obviously not finished um, they're quite big I mean but not too big they don't really require the big space the big space is required by this table here and the two pieces that I'm gonna introduce you to in a separate video that I'm gonna post the link underneath because they stored in my freezer and I'm not gonna take them out now and they are nicely hung anyway in this particular um, exhibition video documentation piece so you can have a look there one is called the cosmic billboard and the other one is called stitching for world peace and then the fourth piece that requires really quite a bit of space is here this here there's now the bunk bed in front of it so you can't see it properly anymore but I've worked quite a bit on it since the last time when I uh, put it in that keep it rolling introduction so this re this obviously uses the same technique keep it rolling yeah over any kind of like um, wrappable material and this reads we are living inside a computer game so it's like sunbeams coming out and in the middle I'm probably gonna create something extremely colorful and 3d and this will also get a frame that is gonna be made out of roof slates they are quite heavy and um, yeah that is oh yeah then there's this one here so I want to all all these frames I found many more frames I want to use them and uh, they will get um, uh, selections of the image bank and then also go into the highest bidder or to the e-shop so I can by the way finally set up my trust foundation I forgot to actually mention that the trust foundation playground earth which is going to sponsor the two franchisable business blueprints and um I don't want to go into these blueprints now but there's basically quite a few projects that I have created that are here to assist humanity to uh, come out of this uh, madhouse nonsense that we have collectively manifested here on this earth so the la this this is one of the other pieces um that would go eventually into the image bank i don't know if this is visible like this yeah okay and um this for example is um a shelf that i've made in el salvador quickly on the sly when i was working with this uh, with the with that woman textile workshop and I showed them a few techniques so that would be something I would be basically live streaming all of the activities that um, I'm doing in that studio and you would get I think like a fair bit of inspiration because this is actually um, what I'm being told I'm not really like a good teacher but I think I am a good inspirer and um, yeah this is the last bit that I wanted to show you so this is a card deck that I designed uh, this is actually a uh, several card decks I have three card decks all together and eventually they will all go onto the image bank so this is I should have really prepared this so this is uh, modeled on the bush bush flower plants I'm draw drawing one of them that says confidence I don't know if this is can be viewed so this says Low, the condition is low self-esteem, guilt, shyness, lack of conviction, victim mentality. And uh, the affirmation is I'm beautiful and safe the way I am and I create my own reality. And the outcome is taking responsibility for one's life, integrity, confidence, personal power, true to oneself. Here are some of the postcards. They're already part of the uh, the first selection of the image bank um, that are already on on a on an actual um, on an actual e-shop that my friend created that I haven't even taken a look. Um, yeah, I haven't even taken a look on what he have created. I mean, that is how much of a one person uh, show I've actually been truly overwhelmed and overworked and in need for um, a, a very well paid team that is going to help me with quite a few things and yes I mean exactly that I mean most of the stuff a part of the studio would actually go to pay the people because without good people you can't do nothing 
that has become very clear to me. So I'm just going to show you the other two card decks, which are going to become ultimately like products. Yeah. There, so this here is modeled on the on the um, crop circles. I got inspired from the crop circles. Yeah. So I don't know if this is can be seen like this. Yeah. I love this one actually. What does this say? Okay. Take one risk a day, it says. Do something that really challenges you, that scares the shit out of you, or just something that makes you really uncomfortable. Be aware that fear is one of your greatest teachers. Know that underneath the fear is a jewel to be discovered. That fear points you to the places within yourself where the greatest learning can be achieved. Well, don't we know that by now? So this here is the third card deck. That is the most recent one. And I'm going to draw a card there now. Yes, yeah, Spirit, what do we need to know right now? Intuitive, it says. Can this be seen? Yes. So, so if unfortunately, I don't have the best lamination skills, so this went a bit pear shape on me, but I've already created... Um, a smaller deck and there will be a Rolls Royce version and ultimately a book and ultimately also they will go into the image bank together even with these mandalas um, the crop circle inspirations for the second card deck and also even some of the bush flowers I have so many more imagery for these um, for this image bank franchise that I've created I mean it's kind of I just need basically someone to go through all of my work and um, take some proper shots and starting to integrate them. So this will be an, 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 a kind of a continuously expanding image bank. So there's no static there. I'm really a workaholic when it comes to production. I'm going to draw one more card. Oh, I drew two now. Actually three. Okay. So one is generous. Yes, and I will be very generous. I'm just actually going to use this like, you know, straight away now as an introduction to also the way how the playground earth will be operating because there's going to be an internal wealth distribution system that will allocate a certain percentage i think 66 percent to the maintenance of the 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 entire playground earth including all the projects and you know whatever um, is required to keep them going and this is, I'm mentioning this again, in particular the people, because without good people you can't do shit. And, um, and this is also skilled people, yeah, skilled people. And um, then there's going to be a certain percentage that will expand the, the playground earth activities and a certain percentage that will be available um, towards applying for funds from kind of outside outside places um, outside projects they can apply for funding and basically like you know um, get it uh, if it's in the spirit of uh, the playground earth naturally and um, there's one more thing that I, uh, yeah, I have created brochures for um, most of my uh, blueprints so they would be available um, upon request specific request I mean even though I have uh, created a few a few online resources already so you can view it but I personally don't like viewing things online so I'd rather prefer to have a physical uh, uh, printed out version and then um, basically send me an email if you have uh, taken inspiration and found like um, enough interest now from what I've been sharing so far to say yeah 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 Mona just send me the stuff okay so then the the then I have oh yeah the, with the card deck here I have basically like a there's this within that card deck within that specific card deck I have a series can you see the the circles here so the circles they mark in the jokers yeah, so um, the jokers are in a way a bit um, like they like shadow pointers or they can be. I mean, not always. Some of them are a bit more inspirational. Others are a bit more like slap across the face and like, you know, just pay attention to what you keep running away from. 
So let's see what this one here says. Take accountable action. This says, which I'm doing right now. I've been postponing this video since forever. Yeah, take accountable action. And this here says, oh, express yourself openly. Yes. So I will be, by the way, um, starting these Playground Earth sessions. I've already started the first one yesterday, a singing session, which went really well, even though it was uh, relatively spontaneous, uh, organized, spontaneously organized, and um, people expressed a lot of interest, but um, no one really had time. So it was me and the co-host, and we had a lot of fun. And um, so this will be running every Monday between 8 and 8.30, and you will find a link or some kind of indication for that on my, um, uh, on my Facebook. Um, or even maybe referenced be below this video here. And uh, the other thing before that um, taking place, the session before that taking place also on a Monday um, will be around introducing a lot of these techniques for this recycling art blueprint that keep it rolling, which here, this one is just one of the many techniques, yeah. And keep it rolling. This one is a bag, for example, that has been woven. Yeah, so on an actual hand created loom. It's really fairly easy to do that. Like, kind of, once you know the technique, it's like you can create so many things. And I have an incredible co host for the Keep It Rolling sessions with me uh, she's an amazing turkish artist and she knows so many more techniques than i do and she will be co-hosting these sessions they will be two and a half hours approx so basically starting i think around we wanted to to start around like five o'clock and then uh leading in uh, finishing off like around seven thirty, and then you could just like um maybe have a rollover and join for the singing. So yeah, that's that's it for now. And I'm gonna, oh yeah, this is the last one. I actually just, I'm just seeing that now as I'm looking to finish. So this is uh, also used, uh, um, done using the keep it rolling techniques. And these are just like, I think plastic bags that I mounted on and I created different colored strings with it and I found these boards and yeah, I really like them. It's a series. So they will also go out to the highest bidder and or, and or find their space in my eShop. And what did I want to say now? I think that's it. That's actually it. Um, so I'm concluding with 23 minutes and 23 is a cosmic trigger number as some of you may know because mm -hmm. I came in on a 23 and uh, I'm, I love this number very much so yeah so I'm gonna be starting um, soon and I'm gonna be posting a little website for the investment side of everything which will have various links and then you can basically explore from them and I'm gonna say goodbye for now and thank you so much for actually staying till the very end um, and uh, sending lots of love out yeah bye bye <laughs>